guys welcome to another division 2 video today I'll be showing you my lady that SMG build now this build shreds man so I'm gonna show you a couple examples of um, me in conflict so hope you enjoy that before I get to the build guide let's take a look Done. Post online. 
Eh, sí, sí, sí. Reinforcements are gone. It's up to you now. Nobody's pulling out. The fight goes on. Specialization supply drop has been arranged for you. Rogue assault turret detected. Rogue hive detected. Rogue restore hive detected.
finish. This build is my Lady Death run and gun build. Now, let's get into it. And I use the gunner for this build. I use the gunner because of these perks. Got the coupler. Every third re reload is 50% faster. So it's really good when you run around and reloading. Armor kits repair 100% of armor and grant 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Make sure to have your SMG activated. And then we have some other perks down here. Uh, supply line talent generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members recover 5%. Rate of fire increases by 5%. 5% on kill for 5 seconds and 50% pulse resistance. So let's look at the guns. The first gun is the Lady Death. And on this one I have 50% SMG damage, 90% critical chance, and 6% damage to armor. And if you can't get the de Lady Death, um, one way to farm for it right now in TU10 is to farm the targeted targeted loot that is dropping SMG because the later that now drops in the regular loot pool so you'll have a chance to get it. For those who don't know the talent for the later death, breathe three, when moving gain four stacks per second or eight stacks if sprinting, up to 32 stacks total. Each round fired consumes a stack Amplifying damage by 75%. Kills grant 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. So, this is perfect for this build. Because you're going to be running around and just um, trying to kill people. Next gun I use for my secondary is the military P416. You can also use a shotgun for your secondary, depends on, on your play style. So, with this one, I have 101. 0.7k total damage, 15% assault rifle damage, 15.5% health damage, and 8.5% critical chance. And it comes with the talent preservation, killing your enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds, headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10 seconds. I also run the exotic mask the Coyote Mask. This one has 15% weapon damage, 5.4% critical chance, 11.3% critical damage, and I put 11.5% critical damage mod on it. And the talent on this mask is Pack Instincts. You and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. 0.15 meters, 25% critical hit damage, 15 to 25 meters, 10% critical hit damage, and 10% critical hit chance. 25 meter plus, 25% critical hit chance. Let's go down to the chest piece. I'm running a Golan de Gear here. And it has 141,000 armor, 10.3% critical damage, 6% weapon handling, and 11.5% critical damage. And it comes with the talent, Perfect Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 40% to enemies within 10 meters. This chest piece goes well with the backpack. Backpack comes with 5% weapon damage, 5% damage to armor, and 
9.3% weapon damage, 5% headshot damage, 12% critical hit damage, and 11.2% critical hit damage mod was added. Comes with a talent Perfect Adrenaline Rush. Whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 23% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. So this is um, perfect for the running gun and, and the Lady Death because you can you be running around going up close to the enemies and shooting them. When you get the Adrenaline Rush procced, then you proc the Perfect Intimidate because while you still have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 40% to enemies within 10 meters. So, those work well together. Let's go down to the gloves. Gloves gives you 15% critical damage. And this is the group of Sombra gloves. Comes with 14.9% weapon damage, 6% critical chance, and I roll 12% critical damage on it. And here's my second piece of Walter and Harris. Of course, if you look back, I have two pieces. And the two piece gives you 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor. This one has 14.8% weapon damage, 12% critical damage, and I roll 6% critical chance on it. Go to the Oldster. I have this ulcer, which is a circle of concern for the 10% SMG damage. And it comes with 13% weapon damage, 5.3% critical chance, and 12% critical damage. Let me go back up, up to this gun. I didn't show you the mods. I have the open iron sights, 10% accuracy. The sturdy extended mag. 20 plus rounds, 10% reload speed. The laser pointer, 5% critical chance, and 5% critical chance from the muzzle brake, 5.56. Let's go down to the skills. I'm running the Stinger Hive, and this is to give damage to the enemies while you're shooting them, and kind of like throw them off balance. And I'm also running the Defender Drone. And the Defender Drone gives me um, some armor or some deflection deflection armor, which um, gives me a chance to shoot the enemy. Let's go over to the stats. Now let's scroll down to quicker chance. You can see that, that I have. 6% critical chance and 168.8% critical damage. Can always be improved. So, just depends on what, what kind of rolls you get on your gear. Let me scroll down so you can see the other stats. So that's it for the build guys, hopefully um, it can help you uh, build your build for conflict or for dart zone and you can use it as a template and until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.